My name is Emily Bouvet Boyce Clare, and I'm an artist at the Lincoln Square Pottery Studio and Learning Center. I guess I visually have always been putting pen to paper and doodling, like that's how I got through all of my schooling. As a sociology major, I took so many extracurricular art classes that I ended up with a double major anyways. I did take pottery classes one-on-one -on -one for five years in high school, but I had not meshed the painting on pots connection, I guess, with my, my painting practice. <laughs> I hadn't meshed that together yet. So that's something that happened over this past year, and I think that's really allowed me to I feel like I can grow within the field because once you learn how to throw a big pot and make a big bowl and always trying to throw larger and larger pieces, then where do you go from there? So I guess where I go from there is to take it to the surface decoration and explore that. I saw the uh, inlay technique that I've been using a lot lately um, through one of the Korean master videos and I just gave it a try and it works for me because I find that you can maintain the crispness of the lines and have a much clearer image. And I can do expressive stain work over the inlay, giving it kind of like an impressionistic feel sometimes while still having like the clarity of the image. I use a lot of reference images and so I would might make like a basic outline on the clay that I can that can guide the line and then you use a sharp tool like a little pin tool and kind of just do the scrofigo technique which is just making a texture in the clay or an incision in the clay you fill it with with the colored slip and wait for it to dry and then scratch it away with a razor blade is how it works for me <laughs> With work, I guess, you have to have that initial connection to the subject matter. So that's like a mental connection. For some reason, I'm very drawn to ocean animals, even though I live in the middle of the Midwest. I think that's not that far of a stretch in the global world we live in because we get little cans of fish from the ocean and nobody even thinks about the impact that that might have um, on the world, but you are connected to the entire world more than you ever have been in the past. So maybe I read a book about how fish feel, which is the actual title of a book I read. I, a lot of the stuff I do is animal based, but I do draw from like my personal life as well. I think particularly successful pieces a lot of times are, are when you do have that personal connection. Yeah, ideas come from all different places, I guess. Well, I think when you start off selling and trying to get out there, you have to find who your audience is and work on defining your clear vision for what your work is, and that's a good start. <laughs> then from there, you know, I guess for me, I depend a lot on the social media aspect of things and slowly growing a base of people who appreciate what you do. Being able to spend the majority of my time doing art would be a success for me. I'm much more pleased with my pieces today, <laughs> so it's, it's cool to watch yourself grow.